Hello everybody, it's Itamog217. Welcome to another LEGO Ninjago UK Magazine uh, unboxing and review. Take a look at issue 93 in the Ninjago UK Magazine lineup, uh, released in September of 2022 in the UK, as well as just other countries overall. And uh, this is what it retailed for according to the barcode. It's basically like 11 Canadian, something like that, and contains one minifigure in a foil pack. Speaking of the foil pack, let's remove it from here and have a look at what the foil pack looks like. So here is the foil pack separated from the magazine. Uh, it has some nice crystallized artwork on it, because again, this figure is from Crystallized. It is Golden Dragon Zane. Uh, quite an interesting looking box art. The set number is 892293. If you're wondering if you want to pick up this foil pack, sealed in box. Uh, it can be a little bit pricey, but you know, kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at the situation, this is the last uh, UK foil pack. Uh, to have this kind of plastic packaging as as test recording they are switching to paper foil packs because um, No way are these gonna be ripped off and ripped open in malls or Walmarts or whatever. No way. No way how <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's crack this open and pour out the pieces and quickly build out the minifigure Here's the minifigure all built up. Honestly, great looking minifigure for Golden Dragon Zane. This figure technically isn't exclusive to this foil pack, as it does come in a much more expensive set, uh, Kai's Golden Dragon Raider, which is a 120 Canadian dollars set, and he's that's the only other way to obtain this figure. So already I'm like, this is worth the buy because you're getting a what is it, twenty dollar figure as a test recording for like. $11? Like, that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. You're saving yourself a lot of wasted money just from getting this. Uh, his weapon is a dragon hilt with a translucent blue blade that was first introduced in the Nexonites line. He does have some dual molded wings, as is common with all the other golden dragon uh, ninja figures, and they are kind of poseable. He using Technic pins on the back there, you can fold it up or you can have it outstretched. It's really up to you. And again, dual molding, it's never exactly the same so you can end up with different looking dual molded wings for your copy uh, but yeah he has a nice dual molded helmet as well and removing that as well as the wings you're able to have a better look at the facial print and the back torso print which has Zane's ninjargon symbol uh, I love the translucent arms and legs the legs being printed is really cool and again how this dual molded helmet works with it being trans blue and how it covers up the face is amazing but yeah no great overall looking minifigure if you want to add this to your collection anyway let's have a look at the magazine all right now that we've finished taking a look at the minifigure you can see what the full uh poster cover art for the magazine looks like it does still have golden dragon zane being advertised at the front there which again awesome minifigure uh but yeah let's open this up so again feel free to pause the video if you guys see fit if you want to have a look at certain areas of the magazine but we have some advertisements for the ninjago core sets and then just a table of contents right here so yeah flipping over to the next page basically tells us how to assemble golden dragon zane which is fairly simple once you built one you built them all pretty much uh and just tells you all about the info for Golden Dragon Zane all around. And, uh, yeah. Pretty cool stuff overall. And you do have a little puzzle thing, or activity, which these magazines are very well known for. Um, in these, it's just a fun little puzzle thing. Anyway, you got more puzzle stuff, m mazes, you name it. All that fun stuff, basically mark up the magazine if you want. Find the differences are also a common thing uh, with these magazines. So, cool stuff. Pretty fun magazine, as always. Then you have Fire Tornado with Golden Dragon Kai, which I believe was issue 91's figure. So, check out that review if you guys haven't checked it out already. 
pretty cool stuff. And you got a whole design your new ninja outfit because the new ninja were a new character batch introduced in the crystallized season. Would love to see more backstory given to these figures, but you know, is what it is. Still pretty cool that you can design your own ninja look. And also a huge thing is that you also get the non-canon Ninjago comics. Uh, so these are always a fun read, a little fun story or adventure. And I also like how it includes some of the older sets that were released throughout that year, as well as last year. Just really cool how they reuse older sets, because that's always been a question in my mind, is what happens to the vehicles after each season. But it's kind of cool that, you know, hey, they're still used to this day. So... Looks like they're doing a little chase with the new ninja. Cool. Now these normally go on for a few pages before they take a mid-break to go back to the activities. Which is what we're approaching here. Also, this is probably the first time we've seen anyone of color appear in the Ninjago world. Again, this isn't canon, but still interesting nonetheless to note. Continuing on page 22, so as, like I was saying, you get more of the activities. So I guess the idea is they want you to cut up this magazine and fill in the blanks. But I've been, always been able to do those puzzles in my head, figure out what's what. And you also have half of a pull-out poster, again, if you want to pull out the poster. But yeah, just you got what looks like the Crystal King on one side, but when you flip this open to see what the reversible side is, oh my goodness, that is a spectacular poster. I might, wow, that's, that looks awesome. I don't know about you guys, that looks awesome, <laughs> showing off all the sets and the figures and whatnot. Wow. And then on the other half, you got the other half of the Crystal King poster. That doesn't compare at all to what we saw just a second ago, though. That was wow. Then you have more puzzles, as always, an adding puzzle, as well as a maze puzzle. That kind of stuff. Then we are back to the comic to see our epic conclusion. With the ninja racing the new ninja. Very nice usage of the legacy sets. I think this next page is our conclusion. Yep. Interesting conclusion. Then you got some history of the uh, Council of the Crystal King. So again, pause if you want to know some backstory for each of these sinister villains of Ninjago. Kind of weird how it doesn't show all the council members, but oh well. But yeah, turning the sideways, we got a thing that is basically just an advertisement for Nia's Samurai X mech, when you think about it, because that's all it shows is the fun little features of the set and the minifigures. Cool stuff. Flipping the page, we get one last puzzle. Or I guess it's just a board game that you can create for yourself. And then you just got some advertisements for the Lego Star Wars UK magazine. And then flipping to the other side, you got a little teaser for what was coming soon. I do believe this one is already out as of time's recording, so if you can find it, 
feel free to get your hands on it because it's probably a cheap way to get your hands on the Crystal King, but it has come in some decent sets. Anyway, you have the answer key for all of the activities, advertisements for the DC Comics and Jurassic World magazines, and then on the final page, you got the, as usual, little cutout thing for a little treasure box or whatever, so that looks okay. Not the best, but eh, it's okay. It's cool looking. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the magazine, so I guess we'll give our final thoughts. Overall, great magazine for what you're paying, because, you know, you're getting an exclusive minifigure in a very cheap way, and on the aftermarket, the, I can only see this figure going up even more, so get it while you can. If you see it in stores, grab it, because, again, 120 Canadian dollars set is the only other way you can get your hands on this figure to complete your Golden Dragon Ninja collection. Other than that, it's, it's as usual, a pretty meh, okay magazine to keep you entertained for a while, main draw for it for me is the comics but as well as the minifigure so yeah again pick this up if you see it yeah those are more or less my thoughts let me know yours in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this review hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel all that fun stuff anyway thank you everyone so much for watching and i'll see you all in a future video until then i'll see you later bye